you, Danson, for jo for having for agreeing to join us in this. Oh, um, it's my pleasure. Um, yeah, I'm really looking <laughs> in this forward to this. toil. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, let's oh, do yeah. it. And uh, I think we can start. Take it away, All right. Alex. Um, so Take last time we started a new uh, game, but maybe this time I will sh uh, go to my main game. Which so I haven't finished the game yet because it's long and quite hard to. Be, but I, I I did escape it uh, already. Um, so, because I think there we'll have more characters to talk about and more like, um, yeah, like, like different mechanics, different, um, gameplay aspects that we can use and, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, can, right. is, is the audio good for everyone? I mean, uh, can you guys hear the, the game? Is good. Can you hear me right? Okay. Think so. Um, yeah, mine is muted. So ah, ah, the room. So <laughs> ah, so it should be good. Get it? Okay, this is fine. Okay, so Dunstan, give us your hottest yeah. takes on this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's a fantastic game. It's definitely, deservedly, um, game of the year 2020 for most mm -hmm. um, outlets and. Um, one of the best things about it is the, the fact that it's designed to keep you replaying with more and more unlocking uh, layers on layers of unlocking that, that keep on going for, well, I don't know how long, but uh, yeah, many, many dozens of hours. I think any, any player is going to get moments of satisfaction and achievement throughout. So um, yeah, so we're looking out at this viewpoint, which is kind of a, like a nice optional feature, but it shows you the distinctive art style of each of the, mm -hmm. each of the biomes. Um, and uh, yeah. We've got, um, it looks like a stream of souls uh, moving on yeah. the left there. And it reminds me a bit of um, the expansion to Titan Quest, um, Immortal Throne, where um, mm, you see yeah. a stream of souls going into the afterlife. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it might be an influence here because there's a lot of um, very kind of, um, it's not Greek architecture, uh, particularly. It's, it's got moody colors. Oh, yeah, you can see them going into the door. Uh, down at the bottom, yeah, I, I was I was saying this. This reminds me of like oh, the yeah. um, uh, the castle of the Witch King in the Lord of the Rings. Um, oh, yeah. When they arrive there yeah. and there's like this spectral green light, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. and this is this is where the nerd comes out. Um, also, when Dante in in La Divina Commedia goes to um, goes to hell and sees the mm -hmm. the walls of the city of Dite, uh, and it's like you know, and he's he's taken from Virgil because fangirl of Dante. But like he's describing this city with these like high walls and the furies on top and the flames and the screams and all you know all these souls that are just hanging around. So it's like this is yeah. this is excellent and then like it really gives you the idea that like there is a fortified city in in, in Tartarus mm -hmm. in the lowest depths yeah. of hell. So yeah, yeah I like it. Well, to be and fair, um, Virgil's, go, go, Virgil's go. task is also uh, has large walls of bronze and there's lots of clanking and fire and it's basically a very heavy metal album cover kind of a place. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, which yeah. is totally different from, from Homer or indeed any previous version of the afterlife. Mm -hmm. It's much more concrete. Uh, anyway, so this is gorgeous. And you can see a bit of the oh, old yeah. um, river, river sticks flowing past, mm -hmm. which is made of blood. And yeah. that's obviously very important. Um, I don't know how much we should give away about the plot um, of later iterations. So but last time, last time we were like, we got like the family intrigue more or less. And like, mm -hmm. we know that he's not, you know, like his mother is not who he thinks his mother is. Um, yeah. that he was raised by Nix, uh, but she's actually not his mom. And like, there were spoilers. There's always, there are always spoilers when we play. So, you know, worry not, uh, mm. as the chat okay. will know. <laughs> yeah, it's and, impossible um, to talk about this game without spoiling it, I think. Oh yeah. Like, but also yeah, like it's Greek mythology. Yeah. I mean, if you pick up a book, you're, True. Yeah. <laughs> you're spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'll try to be restrained because it's part of the fun is learning what's going on. But, um, which, uh, which weapon are you going to go for? Uh, yeah, I was wondering which one, which one do you like i when i beat when i escaped the first time i used uh, the the exograph i used the gun which is very <laughs> unmythological um but <laughs> um yeah which one do you usually go for um i'm pretty i'm okay with all of them i guess my favorite uh i started off using the sword most of the time okay. um, just you know the bolt um i think my favorite is oh my gosh that's a tough one i guess the spear is pretty good cause it's got such range it's like a ranged yeah, melee weapon. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, it depends what crazy. I mean, they've all got they've all got good things going on. The, the shield is good because you can basically smush your way through enemies and, and avoid taking damage. 
which That's kind of true. makes you into a kind of tank. Um, oh, so wait, so the spear. Oh yeah, it retracts. It's like, it's like Mjolnir in, in in the Marvel movies. Oh like yeah, it stays yeah, it there comes, and it, it comes, comes back, back to you. Yeah, yeah, all right. It does double double damage, but it's not as powerful wait, as the. Skelly apparently um, wants to say uh, tell us something, so maybe. So what exactly happened with the formerly pink window over there? Okay. Well, oh yeah, he's he's your your bud. <laughs> he's our uh, our dumb. <laughs> Okay, so the pact of punch. Let's learn about that. So this yeah. is after the first completion. Yeah. I get hit right in the back. Uh huh. The pieces. No idea what's going on. When I was minding my business. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well. So yeah. We should all be so lucky. So when when you um, so so when you uh, beat the, the game for the first time, you you get to choose conditions or extra modifiers that make gameplay harder, but which give you um, rewards. Uh, yeah, because you can you can play through it um, again and again and again, and uh, each time it will it will increase the requirement for difficulty mm -hmm. uh, you know add-ons. Yeah, but, um, nice. it, it means that you can keep racking up those um, nectars and um, whatever else Titan blood. Yeah, um, and each boss gives you something substantial, mm -hmm. and if you play it all the way through over and over again, yeah, I mean you keep unlocking stuff as well. Um, okay, so you just need one. Uh, which one are you going to go for? Uh, I, I, the last time I tried it, I tried to go for an easy one. I think it was... Yeah. Uh, this one, they have 15% extra health. I thought that one, out of all of them, seemed okay. Um, yeah, it's a matter of taste. I Personally, I find that heightened security is quite an easy one because um, you, get, you get worse damage from traps. But it, if, you, if you can yeah. play without going for traps, like the lava is, is the hardest thing to yeah, avoid, but... That's if what you stay I was away thinking. From it, yeah, then you won't get damaged. Um, I will try that it, one. It on <laughs> we will probably like. die in, in in Asphodel, but you know. That's okay. Let's see. Yeah. Let's That's see fine. What happens. You're supposed to die in this game. You are. Yeah. Yeah. You. I mean, you're in the realm of the dead, so yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Exactly. <laughs> so let's get into like the the history, like the the historical part, just what what we have done still here. How okay. old uh can you throw? <laughs> like, how old in time can we go? To think about like for the first representation of an afterlife in games in games oh um, yeah like where, what is the tradition you know how do how did we get to this point like thinking about yeah, these things it was like i have right. like the earliest i can think would be age of mythology yeah but um, i am you know of one generation and i didn't start playing until i was a little older yeah so I'm thinking. I think there's a few earlier games which are set in in afterlives and underworlds, but it's a bit ambiguous about whether they're classical or not. Um, I can't think of the of the name of it, but there's a there's a Jap there's a Japan only game where you are traveling around in the afterlife, talking to different celebrities, um, and that's you kind of you do simple puzzles, <laughs> and one of them is Helen of Troy, for example. So like, oh, that's, okay, yeah. no, okay. it's like a multicultural afterworld. Um, but they're they're primarily uh, like Judeo-Christian, so that's a tough one. And I can't think of a game that's set in the afterlife only. Um, that's that's something very interesting about Hades. Um, I, I know that... there's a oh yeah sorry yeah no yeah go ahead you may have an idea because you've been building a database so yeah <laughs> yeah I know there's a game uh, from 1997 I think called Herx Adventures. Um, so you play as Hercules, and oh, yeah, that yeah. game. Does quite some some interesting things with with the afterworld uh, world as well because I, I think you're also supposed to escape it, but every time you die, you go back a little bit further back, so you can die up to five times, after which is game over. But every time you die, one of those five times, mm -hmm. you go back a little bit further, and you it's, it it becomes increasingly harder to escape, or something. So I, I think I the that. underworld is kind of like a, a very. Um, it, it it lends itself really easily to uh, creative adaptations. I think in, in games like with with that game. There's also the, the game Persephone from tw 2018. I think um, where you play as Persephone, you, you're looking for Hades, but you you um, are supposed to plan your deaths uh, on, on these various puzzle maps in order to beat them or something. So it, it treats death like a mechanic instead of a punishment. Mm -hmm. So it, it it it's a very yeah. interesting way of receiving. Um, the underworld, I think. Yeah. Well, well I mean, it's a cool. form of, I guess, as a setting, it's like a dungeon, isn't it? Because it doesn't have yeah. a concrete um, layout, but you go, you go um, through an endpoint. Um, okay, let's just talk about what's happening on the screen. Yeah, so, so 
Uh, yes. <laughs> I wanted to talk about yeah. this because we didn't see this last time. So at some points mm -hmm. in the game, you can enter um, chaos. Like, like yeah, as you see here, you can enter chaos and you can talk to uh, chaos as well. It, it, it uh, takes some, some um, health away from you, but you get uh, powerful boons from her as well. Yeah, and it's um, a short-term penalty for a long-term yeah. gain. So you've got to kind of, you're kind of hobbled or hampered for a, usually a few uh, a few chambers, and then after that you get a permanent reward. Yeah, I think it's almost always a good idea to go for a, um, a chaos option if you get it. Um, the only reason you wouldn't is if you're very close to dying anyway, because yeah, uh, sure. you lose health when you go into. Um, very okay, impressed and, that uh, chaos is a person. Yeah, yeah, there's some, like personified. Yeah, and I love the appearance of the character as well. I mean, we'll maybe we'll see it in a moment, but um, we we did just see it a moment. Yeah, ago. I'm sorry, I, I clicked. Let's kind of, <laughs> do the no, no, it's like this, this um, um, malformed. You know, the idea of there's like an emergent body coming out of uh, about a, out of a literal chaos. It's uh, yeah, I think it's my favorite character in in some ways. Yeah, usually. I think um, I'm gonna go for but, this one. I think this one is the the first one. It's because so so. the other ones. Um, like won't yeah. help us as much, I think. No, exactly. Yeah, I go for the yeah. big, a big chunk of health there. Yeah. Um, and you just have to not cast, so you can probably yeah. get by without casting. True. Yeah. I'm gonna go for, um, get it. This, for the key. All right. And <laughs> when when you're um, choosing a boon, um, and a little scroll appears by that option, mm -hmm. it means that you kind of you're at it, you're filling out your list of all the different types of boons that you're getting. So that one of the rewards you can get um, back in your bedroom is um, is having collected all of them. So when you see a little scroll icon next to it, it means you haven't used it yet. And one Ooh. of the things you want to do is get all of them at some point, but it'll take a long time. So um, it, it take, like, I was reading that like it takes a long time to get everything, like to platinum the game. Oh, yeah. It takes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's one type of reward, um, which uh, a, long, uh, a long way off. Um, it involves basically getting a, a status badge that has no other implication. But those, those status badges on a, on a ladder that has like 50 levels and there's a substantial cost each time. So if you're going to get to the top of that, you've got to just, you've got to get, you know, untold numbers of uh, nectars and, and stuff. And it doesn't do anything else. It's just, just, it's just, yeah. just, just, uh, just for complete, because you know the people who go for it. Yeah. Oh, they will. I, mean, I bet they have. Absolutely. But the game is fun enough that you can, you can do that. Yeah. Without, oh, it looks, without feeling like you, looks... without realizing that you wasted your life. <laughs> <laughs> did um, you go? Did you? Did you really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, the game I, doesn't I, make I, you feel bad about it. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. It's like, uh, I like I like the environment. Oh, those are the traps. I yeah, see. we're supposed to avoid yeah. oh, those. Yeah. Oh, the art style of every room. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, this <laughs> hand I haven't seen. Is this like? This this does remind me a little of Legend of Zelda when you have the hands that like pick you up and like eat you somewhere mm. else. So yeah, the there's a different hands. enemy that's a lot more like that. That you see the shadow and then it drops down. Yeah, these ones yeah. They, they'll, they'll grab you and wrap you in chains. They'll they can yeah. paralyze you temporarily. That's really annoying. They're quite strong as well, but at least they're slow. Um, mm -hmm. I I can't remember what they're called, but you can check the uh, the in game. Yeah, there's a codex. Media. Yeah, they all have names and uh, and profiles. And by defeating a certain number, there you go. Um, it's the... What are they um, called? No, these ones are... Oh, these oh are... here, the ringers, they are. A ringer, yes, that's yeah. right. Um, the ringers, and... oh, oh, I yeah, see. Notice how it says entry complete um, by encountering a certain number mm -hmm. of a thing. And you, you, you unlock little, you unlock successive sentences until the entry is complete. Yeah. Um, and you can, and... there's all, all kinds of categories as well. Like not only the the enemies, mm -hmm. but also like there's. Oh, I see the artifacts. Um, like the, the river the, the, denizens. Yeah, the, the river denizens. Those are the fish <laughs> that you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can get in the game. Oh, so you can fish. Yeah, in the, it's in a fish the... in the game. Yeah, again, like Zelda. Um, which is, um, oh yeah, there's a few on there. Excellent. Um, yeah, and the quicker you whip it out uh, of the water, the better. So yeah. if you if you've got like lightning reflexes, if you get it out quickly, you've got like a fifty percent chance of getting a rare, um, a rare fish, and they get this you is, get better. This is this is like Animal Crossing, but like in hell. Yeah. With the fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, see. Sure. I can see that. I have uh, a strong hate for fishing in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, <laughs> it's like the worst. It's the worst dynamics. 
<laughs> I had the best like, no. in, in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It was so bad. And then somebody oh. I know who barely plays had a go at it and they figured it out. It, it was more intuitive oh. for them than it was for me. Yeah. Painful. <laughs> oh, and um, you also have the gods. I see. I see. Um, yeah. Yeah. So oh. Everything is in their bosses. And, Let's go. Yeah. See, I see. Okay, so, but yeah, I'm sorry. You got 244 yeah. coins. So maybe you could you could afford something if you went there. Is that the only option? Uh, no, there was another one for extra darkness. But right now I'm maxed out on everything I can in the in the mirror. Uh, so I yeah, need to get more sure. keys. Um, so I can choose for some more health, uh, a boon by mm. the meter, and uh, extra health again. Um, Ooh, can we yeah. see the meter? Yeah, I'm I would either go for the yeah, I'd probably go for the heart. But you could also you could you might choose the boon instead. Oh yeah. Uh, How are you feeling? What was uh, the thing is, I, I really like the, the, the boons by the meter, they're very powerful, and they're, they're what helped me escape the first time, I think. Uh -huh. um, they are good. So also, I don't think you've got any boons at the moment, so if you get, yeah. if you get like, a pomegranate or a, or a potion, then, or I mean a nectar, True. then you've, um, you've got to um, spend it some. Which one should Alright, I should cast or dash. Um, I'd probably go for the dash. Yeah, you. maybe. Special? Think about the special as well. But... Because you get your... chill, uh, the, 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 yeah. like all of the the, the boons by the meter, or most of them they give chill um, mm -hmm. uh, a status effect. So it means that you you the, the the one the, the character you the enemy you hit with it is is slowed uh, by a certain percentage, mm -hmm. and uh, it it in the game it is described that when Persephone. Uh, was abducted by Hades, the meter like covered the entire world with in snow. So she's grown cold because of that, uh, because of what Hades did. Yes. Um, I can see and, that. Um, the chill effect can stack up to 10 times, yeah. so it's quite useful. Oh, but wow, it, okay, so you basically enemies. freeze enemies. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. go with this one, I think, because I really like the... Oh, yeah. The, that's the crystal one. lasers, <laughs> you could call it. Mm, yeah, the famous, the famous lasers associated with the meter. <laughs> yeah. I, I might get yeah. this one. I don't know. It's got. It's, we already are quite good on health. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, can, can I just point something out? Yeah. Because it's a rare event that has happened here, oh, and I, I wouldn't see recommend following it. it up. But you see that thing behind Caron? Yeah. Do yes. you know what this is? I. I, 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 it's the first <laughs> time I'm seeing it, but I know what it oh, is. Borrow. <laughs> but I can't. What can is I... the interest on borrowing you... that? If you attempt to take that money from Caron, mm -hmm. he will then fight you. You get a boss battle, mm -hmm. and he's he's quite tough. So, I mean, at this early in the game, I would probably steer clear from it. But when that appears, it means yeah. you have a chance to take him on. If you win, you get a loyalty card, mm -hmm. and it means that everything you buy from that point on in Caron's well or in shops, then uh, it's it's like twenty percent off. Yeah, which is really significant if you get quite far. Um, I would say though that the boss battle is quite tough. Yeah, I'm gonna so, skip it. Let's be really, really confident. But let's see. Yeah. What I, and he, Karen never has anything <laughs> to say. Really, it's always like <laughs> sounds like these. Yeah. yeah, he's an employee. We the, yeah. We don't have the sound on, but um, yeah, he does that noise. Yeah. So. Um, oh yeah. I was just gonna say that we learn that there's some kind of close bond between him and Mercury. Um. Mm. Um, they mm. keep, that, occasionally they'll refer to that as the game mm -hmm. plot unfolds, and you see his boat there. We don't interact with it. But... Travel from the realm of mortals mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the lowest depths, uh -huh. where many of their well, yeah. mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those those ghostly hands emerging from the river are um, Too bad very stylish. Yeah, the exactly. And sometimes, right. like you right. can I fish don't, you, but oh, you can fish in, right in the blood. Yeah, yeah, pretty much anywhere that's got water blood. like it that is that is like a that is a take on things like i don't think we have the description of the rivers as made of blood anywhere um no but i know that so, one yeah. of them is made of fire the flagiton yeah. is Legaton, made of fire yeah. especially in, in in dante like i'm i'm pulling out my you know all my italian literature 101 <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna, and but i think it's virgil i'm pretty sure that one of them is Blood, but it's not sticks. Sticks is the river of. of is the is it the? Huh, huh, huh. You is have it the Acheron and the Cocytus and the I, Lithium. Oh, oh, right. Hmm. Yeah, uh, sticks, sure. Lithium, Cocytus, and Acheron. Okay, maybe none mm -hmm. of them are actually made of blood. 
Yeah, like, well, I mean, yeah. the, the Phlegaton is, is made of fire because it's in the name. Yeah. Um, the others... Phlegaton is made of blood in Dante. Yeah. Um, but not sticks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's a week. That's... You, also, you also have, like, angry, angry souls uh, in Dante, like, in the in the reverse. Especially, mm. like, um, I think the angry, like, the, the souls of the people who's whose uh, mortal sin is wrath are actually all angry at each other or beating the crap out of each other in the river. Um, mm. So, you know, and they actually try to get on, you know, to get on the boat and do things because they're angry. Uh, but it is, it yeah. is cool. Like, I, I always love to find, like, <laughs> references to underworld takes, uh, especially, like, in ancient Greece, since the underworld is so nebulous until much later. Yeah, it is. Um, I was, uh, um, I was interested to learn that at one point where Charon came from, he's originally just a guy with a with a raft. Um, he was like a, he was dressed in like working class clothes. So when he first appears, he's just a human. But then by by the time you get to Vir Virgil, he's um, uh, there's something supernatural about him. You know, he's like stern but but vigorous and just a bit scary. Um, but in modern media, he's uh, he's a skeleton, and in, in some video games, he's been portrayed as fused to his boat. My boom from um, chaos yeah. has transformed. Uh, but he's generally a, a kind of skeletal um, uh, personification of death, and uh, in this game, he's very much like that. I mean, he's not strictly speaking a skeleton, but he is, uh, you know, a lich or something. Like he's a, a little mm -hmm. bony. Have you uh, have you played the game um, The Forgotten City? Um, uh, I haven't played it, but I, I know a lot about it. Yeah, it uh, came out this year. But... Yeah, I guess they also do something very interesting with the character of Charon. Um, awesome. I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't played it because it's it's something you really need to discover for yourself. But it's it's mm. it's an amazing game, I think. Good. Yeah, it's uh, well reviewed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you're about to pick up a boon from um, from Artemis. Yeah. Our girl. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. She's a very appealing character, isn't she? She doesn't really get on with the rest of them. No. The rest of the gods. I mean, um, she never does, really. <laughs> I guess not, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with... Yeah, I, I never really use the dash strike very much no, when playing. No, me neither. I don't really care for the upgrades, even if they're, even if they're epic. But um, Yeah, I'm going to go for the pressure point, I think. Get the crit. Yeah. Oh, wait. On the other hand, this one is also... Maybe I'm going to go for this one. This will be more useful when I use attacks, I think. Mm -hmm. 15 chance, yeah. Artemis, guide my hand. Yeah, even though it's it's just regular. Yeah, sometimes that's yeah. the best still. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. Oh, wait, what oh, is um, it? Uh, you, well, this is going to be a Dionysus boom. Yeah. But, um, when, the little, when there's a little skull on the... Yeah. Uh, on the doorway, um, it means it's going to be a, it's going to be tougher, and the reward will be greater. So, I've never um, seen this boss though. I think. Oh but really? I'm, I'm oh, okay. That direction. Well, it is really hurting. Me. <laughs> it's teleporting. Every time it teleports, yeah. it shoots. So oh. when it teleports, you can dodge, um, and then just get around it. And if you can start hammering it, then you might be able to freeze it in place with with yeah. you know uh, knockbacks. But right. yeah, it basically it'll. It'll pop up and shoot, and pop up and shoot, and it'll try and do it behind go, you. Go, go, go. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right. That, that crit um, damage really does wonders, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, All the most violent wretches. <laughs> yeah. All the enemies in in the underworld, uh, this this area anyway, in Tartarus, are called wretches. Let's go. Um, I was just going to say about a little, a little skull. So, for example, if it's a heart, um, a centaur, centaur soul, I should say. Uh, that has a little skull on it, it means it'll be double, so you get 50 instead of 55. Uh, if it's a key and it has that little thing on it, it means you're going to get two keys instead of one key. Oh, Dionysus is awesome, by the way. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, here we have Dionysus doing that good old family gossip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she doesn't hang with anybody. I mean, yeah, she she roams, you know, the forest with an army of lesbians, and that's fine. We love that for her. We love that for her. That's fine. Yeah, but the cool thing yeah. about this is like you can't have this exact interaction with him if you didn't just talk to Artemis. So like because the oh, game so is, is like procedurally generated, so like the narrative is different for every single person I think who plays it. Yeah, and there's remarkably little repetition. Um, mm -hmm. There is there's three hundred thousand um, spoken words in the yeah. uh, sorry spoken lines. Yeah. Uh, in the game. 
which is an enormous amount. That's a lot. That's a lot of dialogue. And yet. Yeah. All right. So in oh, these I rewards, see. you've got um, a dash one, which, I mean, hangover is like a, um, a bit like a poison status that lasts yeah. a very short time. Um, using a fountain restores all hearts, all, all health and gives you bonus damage. I actually quite like that option because mm. if you go, if you go far, you might mm. encounter three or four, maybe even five fountains. That's true. And, um, you could get a lot of damage stacked up. Um, but the other one though, is if you're going to be kind of bumping along with very low health, then yeah. getting it topped up after each encounter to 40% might be beneficial. Um, Good thing I'm going to go for this one because I've, I've not been doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. no, sure. so maybe I should have this one. Uh, we can go for another key, or we can go for the nectar. Let's go for the nectar. I think that we can give. To, yeah, to the, the nectar god. upgrade yeah. one of your one of your existing boons, and yeah. it's it's random. But early on in the game, you might only have one or two, so you kind of know what you're going to get upgraded. Um, yeah. So the stats for a boon are dependent on its rarity and also on its its level um and nectars and palms increase the level and there is a way to increase the rarity but it, it is only by encountering um persephone in the in yeah. the second biome That's um, cool. yeah mm. so if you so basically if you if you if you start with something at a high level of rarity like it's epic or maybe even legendary um if you if you then are upgrading it from there with with poms and things, um, then clearly it will be at a, it'll be increasing. It, it, its level will go up one order faster. So you'd be better off upgrading the ones that are already at a high level. Unfortunately, you can't check it once, once you've entered the dialogue. You can't yeah. check what, what all your boons are. So you just got to kind of guess. But um, yeah, and I mean, I won't, I won't go into it, but there are other ways to, there's one other way to upgrade the rarity after you've got a boon but basically going in at a... is the is the faithful twist pandora's box with a bow on it <laughs> um, it might be oh yeah, yeah randomized i think that's i i think that's usually quite a good thing to go yeah. for it's only for coins and sometimes you get a centaur soul or uh mm -hmm. yeah, i'm gonna or, buy the, 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 the see what you get the upper two see ones. what you get see what you get roll the dice yeah, yeah i'm a gambler i guess you got a roll yarn a of ariadne mm. you could get all of these if you want yeah but yeah, so the yarn, are, 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 the yarn of Ariadne means that next boon you get will have a slightly increased rarity, so it'll be a yeah. rare. Nice. Nice, nice. Exactly. Oh, ignited ichor. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, moving I see can help you, help you avoid damage, so it can be a good thing. It's really cheap, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. I'm gonna get it. I have to say, like, I, I never played this game before. I'm very impressed by, like, the work that they did with, like, researching... And I mean, that should go for every game, but unfortunately, we know it doesn't go for every game. Researching, like, not just the right gods, but the right words, because, like, mm. Ikor is not a word that you get that often no. in games that are set yeah. in Greek in Greek antiquity. And it's, like, it's also very difficult to translate, so I'm, oh, I'm glad they did not translate it, and they left it as it is. Because it's yeah. not, like, it's... it's uh, it's 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 not it's not something that like it's not a concept that you can explain in one in one other word. Mm. It's like oh, what the gods are made of, and it's like also but like radiantness and like radiance and like mm. power and all of that. And like yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm very pleased. Like I'm I'm very impressed with all of this. Mm. Uh, the names and the and the designs of the um cool. of the items that you collect are one of the coolest things about the game. One of the most distinctive things. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is true. Yeah, yeah and like the Yarn of Ariadne, it, it implies knowledge of the Minotaur uh, story. Um, there are other elements of that later on, but it's, it's not by any means the main story of the game. It's just a lot of allusions to myth. Sure. Uh, yeah, so Greg Kasavin, the uh, the writer uh, and kind of lead designer of the game, um, yeah. has achieved something very impressive. Um, mm, absolutely. I mean, I remember when, when this came out, like the whole classics community was you know, in a state, uh, because everyone, I think there was like um, another one before this, uh, like another similar dungeon based game from the same company before that. And they, yeah, yeah. they all, and who knew, knew. Um, and then this one came out. And so many people were in, like all of a sudden exposed to uh, dungeon type games, find. which mm. is not something that many of us have play, had played before. Um, 
And so I remember like everyone, like my whole Twitter timeline was people talk, was classicists talking about Hades, like all of them, yeah. <laughs> everyone. Yeah, and then, and then the shippers, like, and then Tumblr, <laughs> you know, picked up on the ships. And then, as you know, um, those, those, those things also happen. And then the fun art and all of that, it's just, it just spiraled. Um, yeah. but it was an event. It was fantastic. Mm. Um, okay. So uh, uh, right now you got two options. Yeah. Which door are you going to go for? We already have quite some health, don't we? You have, but I've found in mm. long experience that having a higher level of health, especially when yeah. you have, um, uh, I can't remember what the name of it is, but you've chosen the option where you can be revived oh, yeah. three times. Um, uh, the, the health is, is, is the most, is the surest way to, yeah. uh, to survive the game. But um, on the other hand, you might, you might like to um, yeah. <laughs> some uh, nice bonus from Dionysus. People have their favorite gods. Like, go with whatever you like. True. <laughs> wait, 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 so which one is your favorite? Yeah. Let's take a poll. <laughs> which one is your favorite? And then Alex, which one is your favorite? Oh, yeah. Um, wow, tough one. Um, str uh, strategically, uh, Demeter is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Yeah, she's excellent. Um, it depends what... It depends what you manage to do with it. It's, it's just the combination of upgrades that you that you get partly by luck and partly by choice. Um, I think they could all, almost all of them, can be advantageous. I'm, I'm not so keen on Aphrodite, uh, just because um, her bon her upgrades tend to focus on the state, um, inflicting the status of weak. Yeah. Weak only reduces the damage that they can inflict. That's a relief. So. All it does is um, kill you slower, um, and I prefer to... Oh, you're doing really well with the Chaos, by the way. Isn't that like the third one you've got? That's the second one. I don't know if oh, I'm going to do it, because I think... What, which room are we in? 12? I think the boss battle is coming okay. up pretty quick. Mm. All right. And I don't know yeah, if I on. want to do that uh, more harder than it has to be. So okay. I don't know. I always go for them, but um, uh, sometimes it, blo it blows up in my face. So um, you yeah, know what? If maybe... we can beat the boss, we're pretty good on health. We have a lot of death defiance. We can. We were probably we're gonna beat the boss because it's the first boss is not that difficult. So let's go for it, and then we'll have maybe we'll be even stronger okay. for the other okay. missions, yeah. the other sections. On the other side, yeah, it will it'll pay off. Sure. So let's see what chaos. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm man, gonna give her uh, nectar as well. I think. Is, yeah. is Chaos, like, chaos. identified as, as a female the deity here? Chaos is neuter, or, or non oh, yeah. Um Let's see. Master Chaos. It says masculine there. Um, yeah, let, let's just have a look at the character. Yeah, yeah um, let's take a second. Okay. So we have a tangle of bodies lower down. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Hellraiser 2 has a sculpture that's a bit like this, with a tangle of, of naked bodies, and it's kind of a, a creepy thing. Um, yeah, and I see. This is quite see. a creepy being. Yeah. See um, wings and and like a very non, like very kind of androgynous body yeah. and appearance. What I like because is that she's, she she's, she literally has the earth in between her fingers, like in a, in a, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like um, that. Oh, this is Aeos this is, is, the, very... is the primal god, um, mm -hmm. a distant parent to all others, and the only one that that chaos is close to in any way is Nyx. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting how all of the all the underworld gods seem to be kind of in this ghetto, um, remote from the other for the Olympian gods, and then and then chaos is like uh, the next block over. Chaos is on their own, like um, <laughs> up the hill, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like you know that that distant uncle that lives in his mansion. It's like mm, yeah. away from everyone, but it makes sense. Like I like like I love the dirt. I like the direction yeah. they took with this, and like also the the whole colors. Mm -hmm. behind the head i'm like yeah. i'm very confused and yet enthralled by this design well i mean i guess when you don't have a representation of chaos in in ancient greece mm. you can you can go with whatever you want yeah and you've got I a very like eerie it. kind of um shifting effect where mm -hmm. there's a you know a fading expanding yeah. copy of of the image mm -hmm. um, yeah oh, this is so cool. and, yeah it's um, like it kind yeah. of warps your vision in a way like when, when you yeah. look mm -hmm. at chaos mm -hmm. Yeah, and the sound design does the same thing. Yeah, uh, you get weird echoes and stuff in this environment. Nice. Um, I think, the, and, and like a reverse echo on the voice as well. And it says underneath the name Chaos, Chaos Primordial Originator. Originator. There's something alien about this, this god. Yeah, um, it's not a. Well, it's technically not one of the gods. It's just a, mm. 
it is, right? It exists, yeah. but it's not a yeah. deity. There. Yeah, is and you can confer the same kind of. I don't yeah. think. I was just going to say, um. Yeah, the type of boons that you get from it are entirely separate from the rest, and they have this weird penalty aspect. So yeah, I'm yeah. Look at the boons. So, there's a sense of a kind of. There's an implication of a curse or some mm -hmm. problem with engaging with such an alien being. Um, I just want to say that this character design um reminds me of like a lot of anime, um, characters, the um the Baphomet inspired devils with the like mm -hmm. the vertical pose and the and the 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 confrontation and the bat wings um but then you've got a kind of um uh like an akira kind of body horror yep. aspect mm -hmm. as well with all the yes. kind of melded bodies at the bottom yeah, okay so what are you is... gonna choose from? okay so i i really oh, like please. this one but the thing is i think in one of the next three encounters we'll have the boss battle and cast is going to be a really useful attack there. Yeah, so, so what, can you, what can you do without? Could you manage without using a special attack? You've kind of upgraded it a bit. I it's a tricky one. You haven't got a great selection here, really. No, I don't. Yeah. There was some luck in it. That's what you get when you meddle with chaos. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I told you to do it, so it's my fault. Uh, well, maybe the dash one? I, 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 yeah, that will... It won't bother. You. It won't impede your gameplay much. Yeah, because um, I, I basically I, I always dash basically every single time. So it, it yeah. Uh, the more you, I mean, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go, go for this one, even though the reward is not that great. But you know, it could be yeah. worse. I mean, further down the line, you will want those things. Yeah, uh, that's true. But yeah, I mean, so you. Yeah, it hasn't improved your your playthrough this time, but um, it's still not. Yeah. Bad. Bye. True. I'm gonna go for the halting eclipse then. Yeah. And a slightly shorter dash is not that much of an. I mean, you can still no. dash. That's true. Yeah. See, the dash is still good. Mm. Let's go see Charon again. Oh, prophecy foretold. Oh, uh, yeah. That that says Charon's that he he chose an option that had a little scroll next to it. It means that. Okay. He's uh, added. He's fulfilled one of the prophecies, which is like basically missions or quests mm -hmm. where mm. you've got to I see. I see. collect. I see. So the next experience. one is our boss battle. Yeah, uh, I would so get that. I'm yeah. going to get the health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay. yeah. full yeah. on health again. Can we fish at this point? Let's see. Maybe have a look at the other room. If you, had the, if you were using audio, then um, when you go into a room that has a fish in it, you hear a, a bell. It goes ding. Oh, so, um, yeah. I always see it at, there's like, like the, a light that shines in, in the... That is, that is like this this I don't know how to describe it like like it's so, so, sort of like gold line or something mm. that's the way I see it but I, I haven't noticed it I, yeah there, indeed there's a bell as well it's a bit subtle but um yeah and if you walk into a room that has a there's another sound that you hear all the time when you get near um when you get near Cerberus which is more like a clang and I think that means that there's a boon in the room Oh, um, okay. ding and the clang is similar, but yeah, if Whose you hear statues a ding, are those? Oh yeah, okay. So um, the statues oh, are very yeah. interesting. They allude to other characters in other myths. When you start the game, you often have a six-armed statue, kind of looking over you, and that yeah. one is interesting because um, although there are no six-armed beings in Greek myth convention, um, there is a, a reference to six-armed um, giants in Apollonius of Rhodes. And I don't think it's a specific allusion to that, but anyway, okay. that, that fits a being that is in uh, Hellenistic um, poetry. Uh, here we've got, what are we looking at? A female figure, probably intended to be a fury. I think so, because of the hairdress. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. right. Oh, the... and like, and three defeated, you know, wretches yeah. or whatever. Uh -huh. Ex exerting cruel and indomitable strength over uh, presumably the dead. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, so. so um, yeah, let's go and say hi. So let's go we like, see. We like an artistic. <laughs> we like we like an artistic program that tells us exactly what's in the next room. <laughs> True. Okay. Right. And who is it? Yeah. Oh. oh, time to face the furies. Oh, okay. Times. Okay. Mega I can see that. I like this, Agrius. Are you tired of mm -hmm. it? Oh, hello. Yeah. So you can. Uh, so I think 
out of all sections in the underworld in the game, this one is the only one where the the bosses sometimes switch. So you can play against Megara or Tisiphone or Electro, and you don't know which one it will be mm. uh, when you enter the room. But now we got Megara, oh, okay. and she's I also the, the, she... she she's like the more de she's the more developed character than any of the other Furies in in, in the game. Yeah. She looks fantastic. Yeah. She looks oh yeah. Great. Lots of style. She looks great. And she's got a disdainful but slightly. Um... What's the word? Sensuous voice. Um, yeah. And so there's a there's a, there's a, 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 a gentle implication of of sadomasochism around this character. A gentle um, implication. She's literally <laughs> building a whip. <laughs> yeah. What I mean is, she she expresses um, the fact that she is an agent of justice mm -hmm. and that she will execute um, bad guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's not the, the game is not. I mean, it's, it's pretty family friendly in the sense that it doesn't mm. have sexual content. But there, there are there are implications, and this is one place where mm -hmm. there is an. I think you, I can you, see that uh, at a certain point, Zagreus can romance her as well. Yeah, uh, if I'm nice. right. Yeah, nice. Um, but I'm, I'm all in favor. <laughs> yeah, he she, he romances her as this character. She does not soften. Yeah, she does that? I would I would assume yeah. he wouldn't want her any other way. <laughs> Well, she has a, um, yeah, I mean, um, oh, you've got to go ahead and, while, yeah. and, 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 to and fight, I know, but so uh, I think she reminds me a little bit of a kind of, uh, uh, you know, like a film noir. Sometimes the heroine is this kind of cold, disdainful, attractive, you know, tragically beautiful um, mm -hmm. yeah, with strength. Um, and I think it's a bit like that. Yeah. Um, think, think another, another allusion to that occurs in the movie, um, Disney's Hercules, 1997. Um, think of Megara at the beginning of the movie. Yes. Where she says, yes. The long Hercules has been a real slice. <laughs> and that kind of, <laughs> that kind of um, slightly disdainful, slightly ironic tone. Um, yeah, I think that might be what is going on with this character. Anyway, yeah. they're, they're talking about it. Yeah. I like the way, so I, I like the, the, the film noir reference. So she's like a mm -hmm. femme fatale, like the, the fury fatale. Yeah, she's a fan. <laughs> yeah, she's a fan. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's She's a fan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. After yeah. the after the makeup and like the the high ponytail, which also gives us you know BDSM mm -hmm. vibes. Let's yeah. put it this way. Just like the, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the yeah, dialogue. Exactly. All right, so let's fight her. A lash in you. Okay. Okay. Yes. You know, please, please, man, lash away. We're yeah. We're in favor. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm feeling the the uh, decreased dash right now. Mm. Mm. And um, by the way, um, she. Ma oh, sorry, I'm trying to say too many things at once. Um, notice that um, Alexander's got this. Um, um, I can't remember what it's called, but the thing in the bottom of his his uh, items menu is the thing that you can get from Persephone. The keepsake. And um, yeah, the keepsake. Thank you. And it's an acorn, and it provides a temporary shield, so he can be struck five times and not take any damage by during boss battles. Yeah. Still uh, in place, which means he hasn't taken any damage at all. So that's very. Um, Megara, um, Megaira, sorry, um, mm -hmm. generates um, smaller enemies throughout the battle. Oh. It's one oh. of her attack. I see. Um, she has she has a number of different attacks, um, which means that she's kind of developed as a boss as well as a character. Um, I was just going to say about her that, um, oh yes, Zagreus is always, uh, he is unfailingly uh, polite in this game. He's uh, courteous and gentlemanly, and the only time he ever gets uh, at all um, upset is in in um, conversations with family members, with other yeah. deities. Yeah, and, um, and, and then apart from that, he just gets, at worst, laconic and sarcastic, um, and uh, perhaps a bit m mocking, but um, he's never actually aggressive verbally which is interesting he's never rude that's interesting that's a choice well i guess like he was raised by deities that are generally like sly cunning but not aggressive yeah. like hades is never aggressive like even when mm -hmm. theseus and piratos go down and say oh we're going to kidnap your wife mm. and he's like oh yeah sure have a seat and then they become the seat um so yeah. I, would, I would assume apart from that one time he kidnapped his own wife but you know yeah he's He's capable of violence, but yes, he's the, certainly the way he speaks as a character, he's a cold, uh, distant, remote, brooding kind of a character. So yeah, he's mm -hmm. non-confrontational in that sense. And so maybe right, he's right, right. his father in that regard. Um, yeah, that, that checks. 
right? Yeah. If you're, you know, if you if you imitate the the role models that you're given, and the role model you're given is Hades, which is even in myth is like he never really speaks. Like the one, the few times that we hear him speak is always like very measured with his words, mm -hmm. uh, and he also hates his job. So. And that's one I guess, of the things I guess that, like, checks. that inspired the yeah, creators yeah. to make this game because they felt Hades was underrepresented in um, yeah. in uh, mythology. And I think the first yeah. line of the game is literally few t tales are, are told of Hades, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you really don't want to invoke Hades too much if you're an ancient Greek person. It's bad mm. luck and you don't want to call for the god of the dead on your house or your city. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't receive much cult, for example. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and even uh, when you have um, temples to temples to Persephone, usually outside of the city walls, you don't want a Persephone in your in your city in your wall in, inside the city walls. Uh, you don't want that kind of stuff. You don't you don't want the dead or the souls of the dead in your city. Mm. So uh, it's not that they don't like these gods; it's that they fear them. So that that makes sense. That's the archaeologist speaking. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's what I cut you off there. Uh, no, not really. No, that was good. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that. Um, yeah, you said that uh, Hades hates his job. Well, in this game, he kind of is a workaholic, yeah. and he may hate. It. He hates a lot in life that he has been given. And uh, we learn at, at one point in the dialogue. Interestingly, it's hinted that he attempted himself to escape to escape the underworld, and he can't. Um, but he seems quite obsessed with his work. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I won't draw any parallels with. Um, with our own world, but there are certain lines of work where you might have a love-hate relationship with your very burdensome uh, type of work. Um, okay, so anyway, the battle is um, is in uh, full flow here. Um, Alexander's about to win. Yeah, just yeah, he's doing very taking very little damage. Um, and We're done. Yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. Okay. Oh ho. And now we get Fury our vanquished. Okay. Titans and when a Fury is defeated, dies in the same way as. Zagreus does. Yeah. Uh, the background fades to black and they plunge into Styx because they are taken back to the beginning, um, just like oh, he wow. is. Yeah, so uh, you just got a uh, Titan blood, which is yeah. used to upgrade the weapons. Um, and... Oh, oh yes. we're getting... You trust the sentence of Lord Hades, you're torturing the worst of mortal kind. Fair. You're reading <laughs> the underworld of any fool in after trespass where they do not belong. Hmm. I like these these, these brief like uh, narrator comments. I I I, 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 yeah. I I think that those are nice. And now we're gonna yeah. Uh, Some bits of background um, have that the first time you see them. Yeah. Um. Well, you know, there is one occasion when you can go up and and read a bit of dialogue. After that, it just becomes background. Mm -hmm. um, oh, is that okay, one of the famous so... fountains? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I there, just uh, yeah. restore my health. Let's see nice. what I can buy. And each time you end, you finish a, a, a biome, um, you defeat the boss, and then you go into this room where you have an opportunity to purchase upgrades from a well of Charon. Um, you can switch your keepsake if uh, you have more I than can. one. Yeah, I'm going to get this one, the Braid of Atlas. I think that one will be good. Uh, sure. Plus 50 damage. Uh, the movement speed. I'm going to, because uh, we, we increased the magma damage, maybe I shouldn't go faster than I need to in, in, in S for them. Uh, let's see what the keepsake. I'm, yeah, I've been using... I, I, I basically always use this one because I really, uh, at this point, like the, most of the times I've died, it's always, it's always the bosses that kill me. So I always want to... Like, like I, I want to mm. be immune uh, the first time I... Uh, when I fight these bosses. Yeah. Um, I really like um, this one, think... but... I think for a person who is who's played through the game a few times, you start to kind of change focus from mm -hmm. uh, regular enemies to bosses, and then eventually you're kind of focusing your boons on Hades because he's the greatest challenge in the game. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. You want it, your your tactics evolve, and of course, there's always a so the the ch combination of upgrades you get. Is, um, oh, I also noticed that. Um, so yeah, Alexander's upgraded um, a couple of items by using them frequently. Yeah. So you start, you start with one star, and then after you've used them a certain number of times, you gain a second. Oh, so so oh, after. so he, that's that's the one that he's been using the most, the black shawl. And, and it means that they're more potent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do uh, do you have a an 
which one is your favorite keepsake? Oh, um, hmm. well, I got a few. It depends. Um, I like the chaos one actually because I'm, I'm a huge fan of of the chaos effect. Fan of chaos. Yeah, um, which is the egg on the right hand side there. Um, it depends though. I mean, oh, yeah. sometimes you want to, like, for example, you're in a room where there's a. Set, um, you might feel, uh, but you can't quite afford it. You might want to grab the the purse um, of Mercury just because then you could get that item. If you really wanted that item, you could do that. Then you're stuck with it until the end of the next box. Um, Where is but there it? you go. Yeah, uh, it's, the, it's the red one on the top row. Um, it depends what, what you're after. Yeah, I like a lot of them. For combat, it, the, the one you get from Achilles can be... Oh, can Hermes, be quite yeah. One. Yeah, I, I really like the, um, the one that you have at the moment, of course, for the bosses. Uh, yeah. Um, that you see uh, Skelly's tooth in the top right hand corner. Yeah. That can sometimes be a lifesaver if you've got no more death defiance left. True. Yeah. Um because um, and when that's upgraded it's more powerful. Um mm -hmm. you will you'll have the ability to it basically it's another death defiance. Yeah, it, it is. takes you oh. back mm -hmm. up to one. Um so like if you're really desperate you want to have. Um I I actually really like um um where is it? Do you have the one from Mercury. Mercury's uh, Hermes. The feather. The lemon. Sorry, plume, yeah. yeah. I keep saying Mercury. Hermes. <laughs> um, yeah, with that one, the lambent plume. Um, if you if you use that from the start, you can accumulate a large amount of dodge um, yeah. likelihood because That's you get one percent every time you do a room quickly enough. So if you've got a weapon where you know you can clear the room quick, then you can get mm. one percent dodge over and over again, and then you can end up with something like forty by the end which is a lot yeah that is true um, and then actually that's almost as good as having extra health because you take less damage overall um, that's true. anyway i can talk strategy all day basically they've all got the merits <laughs> whatever you like uh, is good. i think i'm gonna keep the eurydice one because i yep. uh the bosses will be the toughest at this point and because also because i'm using the weapon that i you know normally don't use uh, i'm gonna keep it safe i think uh, i play, play sure. safe and i'm gonna keep this one i think i'll oh, get it um mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sell anything. I think I like the, and I don't have that many uh, boons already, so I don't think mm. I'm gonna sell anything. So let's go. And we, uh, w once you go to a different um, region, there's like a nice, like elevator video <laughs> that that uh, cutscene that plays. Uh, so you talk for us. Yeah. So like oh, this, is that uh, the elevator? Yeah. Oh, like... noticing the large sculptures of Cerberus in gold. Um, and oh. all the clanking chains are very nice. Okay, so oh here it is. Oh my god! Yeah, and so he's moving up to the next area yeah. in a beautiful, he's fantastic map. Oh. Yeah. Holy sh! Uh, okay, so we're we're like definitely more hellish here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Glad we're, we're, I think in about five minutes it'll be time to to end because the hour will, will be oh yeah will be finished. Um, but this area is very uh, well designed That's because um out there I guess the the story is that it's been flooded accidentally almost with um with lava so this should be the fields of asphodel that was my they're question actually, yeah but they're, they're completely swamped with lava and they are the lava level which is so familiar from video games yeah is that uh, is that the tower of babel inspired it looks like it like, it looks like it yeah does it mm. by the way did you see in the little little elevator cutting that there was like greek text near the, the sides yep. of it uh yep. i i looked up which text it was because i'm always like intrigued by, by these things so and I, what i found was was pretty funny i think so uh i think they wanted to use or if, if they wanted to use it the, the, the main text it, it has is uh, the beginning of, of works and days by hesiod so it's like the first line okay. but, but the, the manuscript they used is not the manuscript for works and days or a manuscript it, it's actually the manuscript for uh, a 12th century commentary on it by john setsis um oh, and, that's his, wow yeah that so, wow. his quote in a game yeah that's, i think, I think <laughs> this game is by accident like byzantine reception <laughs> Accidentally byzantine. And so it happens uh, most mostly like all of the the, the lines that you see in uh, uh, in the game are almost all of them are from john uh, tetsi's commentary and yeah. uh, as i was i was thinking why did they use this what, what was their intention but then if you look up ancient Greek literature on Wikipedia, the first picture that it shows you is the picture from that manuscript. So I think they oh. just Googled Greek literature. They, think it was, they went it to was Wikipedia wiki. and then they, yeah. they used the picture. And, and it, it's the exact same 
Um, I am googling it right now. <laughs> it's the exact okay. same, same, same text and, and layout as well. Like they, I really like mm. it that it's a papyrus oh, yeah. text or a manuscript text. Like it's not mm -hmm. typed or anything. I really like mm -hmm. that. But then they have this <laughs> commentary by John Setsi, which has no, like, uh, relation to the game in any way. Yeah. Oh my god, this is uh, well, that is something. So accidentally, accidentally Byzantine, therefore Roman. Because yeah. Byzantium is Rome, clearly, right? It's a new Rome. It's not a different thing. Yeah. Anyways, that's that's just you know to get to get the Romanist people yelling at me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, they call themselves the Romaioi. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. So, which is why the Roman Empire falls in fourteen fifty three and not four seventy six. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's the beef. Yeah. Well, it's, that's the it beef with the Byzantines. Falls many a time and also never. Very postmodern. Um, okay, so right. we're we're just entering the the first. We're entering the, the hour. Legend. Yeah, the, the tricky thing with this area, with this uh, biome, is you've got a constant risk of wandering into the lava yeah. and taking down. You're allowed to step. Also, oh, you can and... actually fall into the lava. I thought well, it was like a. No, you, if you walk hang around. Limit. It, damage. Oh, yeah, you can kind of okay. loop across it. You can dash over it. Definitely, you can stand in it for a moment, but um, you will take damage if you if you linger. And more than once, I've beaten a boss. Put the put the, oh, no. the down and then uh, I come back and I'm dead because I've walked off the edge into the lava oh, and then uh. repeated die. And then stayed in the lava. Oh. Yeah. So you know, make sure you pause properly. <laughs> oh, so you so you need so you need to to pay attention. I hate I hate. Pause hygiene. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I All right. Kind of like Let's have a look at some enemies then and uh, yeah. Yes. We'll have a new biome uh, experience. Cool. See Asphodel. And the river that, mm -hmm. yeah, that is in Asphalt, it's the Phlegaton in the game. They actually like, actively so refer to it. Okay. So, river yeah. Fire. So, yeah. River of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, I, I think I don't know if I still have the dash. Um, Limitation? Well, yeah. you can still get across. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It looks like you've got some kind of a non transformed. Hello, mate. I don't know. I was looking at the, the items on the left there. Yeah, I think something is got two more rooms before that will yeah, convert to a boat. Probably that. I see you're making lots of use of the crystal um, beam. Yeah, uh, it can be really handy, especially there's a couple of upgrades that make it really. I mean, when it's more powerful, of course, it, it gets really good. And um, there is one. Uh, I think there's a legendary boon um, from Demeter. Which, or maybe it's a duo. Anyway, there's some amazing boom which um, causes it to lock on. Um, yeah. So you know, it doesn't just slowly scan towards enemies. It just oh, it, it just finds long. it. Yeah, and then nice. you just get have a nice death. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. I like the have a nice death. I mean, yes, we we kill people, but like we're polite about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to the right because there's then we'll meet Hermes and we didn't see him last yes. time. I think. Please. So, yeah, yes, Hermes. please. I'm I like him to, to see Hermes. Yes, I indeed. think like my favorite uh, boon wise I think my favorite um god in the game is probably Athena. Um oh, okay. cuz mm. she like but oh, the, the yeah. deflect I really uh, like the the, the, mm. the deflect aspect of her. Yeah, especially the um if you can get the summon um and then uh, you yeah. fill up your um if you fill up the meter then you've got invisibility for like 9 seconds. More yeah, you can basically do whatever you want. Um yeah, I, I like um, I like Hermes, and there's something I want to point out, an interesting piece of trivia about him. Um, he is voiced by um, Greg Kasabian, who's the one oh, character really? that the game's creator. Oh, I didn't voiced. know that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously it's like high-pitched, but um, it is his, his voice. Um, that was close. Let's see. Wait, hang on. Am I no, wait, I'm getting confused. Sorry, I'm talking total nonsense. It's not him. <laughs> it is uh, Hypnos. Back in, oh, the, uh, yeah. in the lobby. Yeah, Hypnos is him. Okay. Sorry. Ah, I don't know why I'm getting mixed up. They both speak rapidly. Um, <laughs> sorry. I, I expect that from Hades. Uh, from, from Hermes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like he, and he yes. always carries messages because he was the messenger. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and I oh, like, yeah. like he's that he's carrying like the bag, <laughs> like a purse on, on his right uh, arm. Oh, he's, got, he's got the right, the right, uh, the right staff, which yeah. we like. Yeah, and the short thing because yeah, we gotta run. There's no time for long, <laughs> yeah. for long clothes. Oh, I like him a lot. Yeah, some of his some of his boons are really helpful. I think um, speeding up the attack 
makes it that much easier to avoid damage. Um, yeah. And even the one which allows you to obtain more money, like you get a bit of mm -hmm. coin every time you get a room. Um, oh, no, that quick recovery is an interesting one. Which are you going to choose? I, I, I like the quick recovery one uh, really much. Mm. But... Uh, your what was your special? Like? Oh, yeah, it's the... Throwing the spear. I think I'm going to go for the, the quick recovery, because uh, especially in the boss battle, that really helps a lot, I think. Uh, mm. Especially when you're fighting Asterius later on, I think that, That's the stuff. and Theseus. Um, oh yeah, um, so yeah, the Minotaur is basically a, a tank enemy, um, so you, it's really hard to stay away from him and not get damaged. Yeah, um, you just gotta keep dashing past him <laughs> all the time. Yeah, and, and through yeah. like the, 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 the pillars that he and so he. Oh, are you gonna use the um? Are you gonna go for the chest there? The trophy the trial. Game. I don't know. Yeah. It's because they're so like. It's so easy to get caught up in the in the magma. What do you? What would you win? Oh, just just yeah. Uh, gem. Yeah. The twenty five okay. is not that many. Like, I'm going. I'm just going to go for the nectar. And maybe if we beat that room, we get to see Eurydice, and she is the best in this game. Like, mm -hmm. it's the game. It's a tough game, but the hardest part is to leave per se Eurydice because <laughs> she sings so nicely. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. I, I like is, what I'm, what I'm hearing. Design, I like all the food and the cooking. Yeah, and, and, and her, uh, like the character design in general is amazing in this game. Yeah. But I, I think I like hers the most. Yeah, she's one of my favorites too. Yeah. Um, I think it was com one one um, commentator, um, a re reviewer of this game, pointed out that all of the characters are really beautiful. Um, they're just like incredibly attractive. Nothing. Um, and it's amazing what variety they achieve. It's not conforming to, uh, you know, a stereotype. They've just got nice. Yeah, you know, they've all got cheekbones. But yeah. um, apart from that, they it's, it's quite imaginative design. So, yeah, they, they did an amazing job. Um, and her, her kind of personality as well. It's kind of kindly yeah. uh, authority that comes from the um, offering um, bonuses that she prepares herself. That she's. Uh, and, and and there's yeah. a side quest with her and Orpheus as well in this game. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, they make a very interesting pair because he's emo and she is mm -hmm. well, I don't know. It's like of, of course he's emo. Oh my <laughs> god. She's like that kind of she's like that kind of enlightened version of hip hop, which is all like beads and and <laughs> like chill out kind of Yeah. Um And he's well, he's not music I mean, should, Sorry, go ahead. I, have, Should we go? I have a healthy distaste for Orpheus, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go for yeah. Dionysus or Zeus? Both of them are boss battles, so... Yeah, they are. Um, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to bow out oh, yeah. shortly. Sorry, yeah. but, no, that's fine. Um, maybe you can carry on, uh, carry on playing. Um, I want to see what you're going to choose, though. <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna see, see this, this boss battle, and then we can... I noticed you both got that skull, which means that it's going to be a... A kind of a tough challenge, but yeah. you get a, a, a flip a coin. Severity. I'm gonna go for to. Zeus, I think. All right, uh, all right. Because I, I, I like the, the the lightning effect, the chain effect. Like if if when mm. you carry the gun, that chain effect uh, clears rooms so quickly. Yeah, it just like a blizzard of lightning bolts. Yeah. Oh no, it's stuff. this one. Oh, I this is like one of the worst. Um, oh, this is gonna be really quick. Just like finish them off. Yeah. <laughs> just tidy oh. them up. Um, Rooms what like this that? really, I can see why you like Ath Athena so much. Yeah, th th exactly. If you can get this stuff, <laughs> then yeah, it's great. At least they don't move that. But it just looks yeah, very it's, unpleasant. It's, yeah, I, yeah it's this like, is one of the well, worst. Hell, boss. <laughs> yeah, and, and with the magma restriction. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you've got, you've got to kind of. Like, dance if you, around. If you, when you carry the, the bow here with the deflect uh, and the special, like mm. you're invincible. Like you, you don't lose any health, yeah. but right now, mm. right now you're yeah. Ooh, ooh, I mean, ooh. it'll be okay. Like this is not a room where you want to spend your death deflection, uh, the death defiance on. Mm. Uh, no. um, one of the good things about the special, which you've okay. been uh, been, uh, about, yeah, been upgrading, is that it goes through multiple enemies. So if yeah. you line them up, you can, you can kill them. <laughs> okay. Wow. Inflicting damage on the enemies once is, a, is confers a great advantage. So attacks that can do that are really good. Oh well, but he is obstinate indeed. 
<laughs> Zeus is very paternalistic, or yeah. maybe Avanc. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. he's very arrogant as well. Being yeah, king yeah. for God. And you Let's see, see what he checks. Like, like the dysfunctional family. Like Hades doesn't want to speak with him because he's mm -hmm. mad, uh, uh, angry with him uh, for what he uh, for for putting him in the underworld. I like that he's saying your family's better health. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hello, you're all related. Yeah, and in fact, the three the three uh, chief gods, Poseidon, um, Zeus, and um, and Hades. I haven't checked this, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. That the three brothers are all voiced by the same person. Ooh, that could be. At least they have the same kind of deep, like, yeah. mm -hmm. or, or or you know, modulation on the voice. Mm -hmm. um, so Which what's it going to makes... be? Oh, Zeus's oh, aid oh. looks chain lightning attack at the top. Yeah, true, but that switches out. Um, what is it that that this oh, that, that the Artemis one? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, reluctant to replace any attacks mm, um, me too. for a while, but then I realized that when you do replace them, then you get an upgrade of rarity. So it, it will be oh, replacing yeah. a, a non-rare attack with a rare one. So it'd be slightly more powerful. But you, yeah, it still doesn't mean you have to go for it. On the other hand, this like... one this one gives you a call. Like a, a, a ultimate yeah. ability, you could say. Uh, but I don't know if yeah. this one is like that useful. Like, there's some of them that are really that that I really like, uh, mm. especially the Athena one. But yeah, mm. anything that gives you invincibility. Yeah, um, he's uh, Poseidon. But so this one doesn't do that. But it does. It does kind of sprinkle on some extra damage mm. while you're doing everything else that you're doing. So and the lightning does. I mean, sixty damage is quite quite good. Yeah, I'm gonna if, go for if it. You compare with, yeah, so just I mean, zap them. That dash attack. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go for the Zeus's aid, I think, for, mm -hmm. for the call. Yeah, get it. Uh, yeah, and then if you happen to get upgrades from Zeus again, you probably have that lightning effect enhanced, um, and which would increase the damage each, each bolt. The next room, oh, by oh. the way, is you really see. <laughs> so Yay. Maybe we could end there on a like yeah, yeah sure. quieter Let's note. Her. Like, no, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I say nice, goodbye nice, after nice. Yeah. She's wonderful. Welcome. Okay. Like I don't know if you can like in the chat if you can hear like the the music really well, but it's it's like a, a very beautiful song. Yeah, and there, there are several songs that she sings, yeah. um, but they're all good. And this is interestingly, this is the only wall in the whole game. Dash. You can't yeah. enter this room by walking. A... I don't know what that implies. It's I... a bedroom. I don't know because I, when, I, when I entered here for the first time, I was like, "How do I get there?" I, I, mm, I was yeah. uh, going uh, down here, but that wouldn't work. So it was really mm. weird, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like so. You, you, you sh I don't know if if Zagreus is high enough, but you can sort of look through this window or this open space in the wall. Maybe it's sort of like a prison. I, I don't really know. Maybe. Yeah, but she seems quite happy, and yeah. maybe it's the only domestic space apart from the lounge mm -hmm. in the whole game. Exactly. Because yeah. there's a bed and the kitchen. Oh yeah, she's preparing um, foods. And she's singing... Next to a bedroom. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, okay, good so... riddance to all the thieves. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the lyrics are fascinating. Yeah. It's possible to... I mean, much later on, I don't want to give too much away, but you, you can get... You can unlock the tunes, you can... Mm -hmm. True. Um, get yourself a playlist. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what she looks like and what she has to say. Yeah. Let's yeah. see, let's see. I'm very curious, like, you guys hyped her up for me. <laughs> they they stress the fact that she's a nymph, so yeah. here she is a, like a like a dryad. Mm -hmm. She's she's broccoli, but cool. <laughs> yeah, she has a broccoli do. She's cool yeah. broccoli, she's a, yeah. <laughs> she's a broccoli do. Oh, I love the tattoos. Yeah. The, the... Is it a oh, sprig of May in her, in her teeth? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's all and very the, uh, the acorns mm -hmm. on her mm -hmm. on her belt. Oh, I like it. I yeah. like it a lot. Kind of so she's Deku a dry brown hair. Yeah. Oh, um, a carefree muse. Not really a muse, but that's okay. Mm. We got, we got. Well, I mean, she's Orpheus's muse, I guess. Yeah, yeah. that that's what uh, that's one of the the story beats in in the quest between uh, mm. Orpheus and Eurydice. It's like uh, so they both of them know that. Zagreus is talking to the other ones, but they haven't at this point in the game they haven't met each other yet. Um, but so uh, Orpheus uh, is like, tell her uh, she's my muse. So then you go and tell her, and then and then you carry a message back, and it's like it's fun interaction. I actually. Mm. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah so you're... she's nice. Like... She's she's angry at him for losing her, losing mm -hmm. the chance to save her, and he is in despair at his losing the chance. Rightfully. To save her. Yeah. Oh, so he's yeah. so this is not the version of the myth when he gets uh, torn apart by the manids, uh, or is that no, before that? Game. No. Well, yeah, okay. But, um, he's a he's a shade himself in mm -hmm. that way. Maybe okay. it happened before. Who knows? But um, yeah. But it's, it's interesting that this is a, a game gives you a broken relationship, a dysfunctional relationship. And much of what you do is repairing those relationships. Mm -hmm. You actually restore quite a bit of harmony in the game. And this is one example. There are there are couples like therapy, you put together. Therapy in Tartarus. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are permanently wrong situations that are going on for eternity. Hades uh, has is presiding over a very dysfunctional um, in terms of in terms of like the soap opera of the characters and <laughs> um, and uh, Zagreus disentangles the the nasty messes anyway here's one um but she is um gonna do something useful yeah <laughs> so that's one of the conversation I'm merely here for your wonderful singing cooking or she's, conversation she looks ability. great she looks fantastic so, since you mentioned it you yeah she's sassy and um to say to him there's is there anything i can do there's a little bit of a similarity just in the way their heads and their, their body language is mm -hmm. is laid out I just with uh, with zagreus um and zagreus is I, I said he's uh, polite. He's also extremely courteous. He yeah. he, he is tactful. Um, <laughs> and here's an example. I understand. Orpheus blew um, away so he says, you're, "Oh yeah." But now I'm uh, well, oh, all right, right. So, so flattery. Sorry, hun, but that's not happening. The two of us are Oof. finished. Jeez, there's no way. I'm not. I think we're no. finished here too. Mm -hmm. It's done. We're done. We're finished. Mm. Yeah. This is the first Bye. time she's like upset at you at, at Zagreus. I think. Because uh, usually that's quite a nice conversation, um, but she, we lucked out. She uh, uh -huh. she still offers you several delectable treats, uh, as it says. Oh, yeah. So these are all these are all really good. Um, yeah. Of the three, I used to go for pom porridge every time, but now I don't ever do that. Uh -huh. I always choose the refreshing next, um, because the next three boons you collect have increased mm -hmm. red and. It's almost certain that you will collect three boons, and um, yeah. you have some choice over which boons they are. Ambrosia delight. If you really like the one, and you want them to be increased in rarity, then that's also very good. It says yeah. up to two. That means that you've, if you've only got one, obviously it'll just be one. Yeah. But you can pretty much guarantee that two of your boons um, will be upgraded, and if you've only got two, then you know what you're going to get there. So that's. Uh, however, it is random, and um, the pom porridge um, up to four boons. Gain in level. Um, mm -hmm. Rarity is more important than level in terms of the, the quality of that of that thing. You know yeah. the, the level of stats. Um, but on the other hand, you know, combine the two of them, and you've got. I'm going to stop. I want to see what you choose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we can stop. They're all I, good. They're all I, I, I think I'm good. I, I I like the the boons that I have, but I I still haven't gotten anyone from any from Athena. Uh, mm. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for refreshing nectar. So. To, if I encounter yeah. Athena, yeah, it will be strong. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Strong, strong oh, seal of approval. <laughs> yeah. um, and I, I mentioned the existence of of duo and duo and legendary yeah. boons, which are the best ones, um, yeah. almost powerful anyway. And um, using that item that you just purchased is one way to increase the chances of getting that. Um, otherwise, they're very rare. Um, but that's one thing you can do. And there's also one of De one of Demeter's boons allows you to kind of, um, I think it's Demeter. Well, there's a boon somewhere that allows you to get better rarity as well. Oh, there's uh, something in the well of... Yeah, it, it's, uh, there's, um, I think one of the one from Demeter is that oh, yeah. all of, all of your boons decrease or, or lose their rarity, but then they get stacked up or something or like over the next encounters, they, they yeah uh grow more powerful like something i think yeah and then they'll go all the way up to epic um yeah which is good and um yeah the yarn of ariadne if you had the yarn of ariadne whatever the thing he was that you just collected then the rarity is like twice as high as normal so you might well get a legendary if you um be lucky and so you know it's a rare circumstance basically there are there are ways to increase the chances of getting that yeah. Um, and they're very interesting as well. Like some legendary things do weird effects that are only obtainable that way. Like, um, I think the one that is particular to Zeus 
uh, means that every time you do a light bolt strike, um, it fires off a little fizzling kind of ball of energy. Um, yeah. So lots of lots of those, and you've got all these kind of little slow move projectiles floating around the room. It's very interesting. <laughs> no, it's anyway, good. yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan. All right, I, I, so. Uh, I think I've rambled yeah. on far too much about this game. I've got to stop. Nope. Um... It's okay. It's okay. That's that's why we invited you. So uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you, you so might much. Have further, if I didn't do that all the time, but um, <laughs> I've had a, a. Oh, we will really invite you back on things. <laughs> Worry not. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is this is great. I, I mean, any game would be fun. To, um, this one has been. So the fantastic. the next um, the next game that we will play in full is going to be Curse of the Pharaohs from Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, right. With me and a colleague who's also an Egyptologist, so like I will, I will, you know, put the dust out of my Egyptology degree, and we're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna rave. Yeah, but Egyptology or Egyptomania is your wheelhouse. That'll be a great one. It is, it is. That's that's gonna be fun. But uh, we're gonna play this until uh, December seventeenth. So this, yeah. uh, okay. I think this is a good place to stop. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so uh, much. Thanks thank everyone you. for tuning in. Uh, and watching and listening to us ramble about things and powers and booze and other stuff. All that um, stuff. And yeah, so we will see you all next Friday. Same time, uh, same place, different guest. It's going to be Jake, so there's going to be banter, as always. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, have, we have history. <laughs> um, all right. All right. So well. I don't think we need to save, right? <laughs> I'm going to quit the stream. Mm-hmm.